Welcome everybody, and if you've been following the progress of my 18 volt cutter that I designed, I've been having some very, very good success stories to talk about, and I'm able to produce barrel keys much, much more quickly, and the tool has literally paid for itself just in the time savings. If you own my book, you know that I do um, uh, a lot of the work on a drill press, and that still is a necessity for doing certain things, such as drilling the uh, hole in bar stock and doing the uh, hole drill on the bow. But outside of that, um, yeah, you really don't need a drill press, and but you do need some sort of precision instrument, and that's the reason why I developed the 18-volt grinder cutter with the XYZ um, cutting capability. So, um, yeah, that tool, really, really good. So let me stop for a moment and talk about this lock that I obtained um, several months ago. And this is an Eagle Pad lock stamped first quality, and they really do mean it. The thing about these locks, um, I think they were designed up to four lever, but this one is um, three lever, and it has a nasty little thin ward plate that exists um, between levers one and lever two. And of course, that could be different with various locks. Outside of that, Eagle put some nasty serrated edges on the um, edges of the um, lever tumblers themselves. That makes picking kind of difficult. And sometimes what I like to do is actually attack uh, picking through the drain hole using a little bent wire to really um, give us some push that you're not gonna necessarily get with traditional hook pick or any kind of wire. Whatever you gotta do to really um, manipulate the lever tumblers, use your imagination. There is really no right way. I was able to tension the locking bolt, which is attached to the fence, um, using a Z-bar, and I've showed you what that looks like in another video. In any case, I think I got very lucky because the um, serrated edges really do um, cause a lot of problems, and it, it's really hard to pick these locks. And the tolerances, oh my gosh, you have to be very, very good when cutting these keys. And not only that, you have to make sure that you cut the um, key or make a key or use a factory key where it, it has the total bit height that goes right up to the bottom of the uh, keyway here. Anything shallower than that, you're not going to get any um, enough overlifting to lift some of the tumblers. And that was a problem that I had. This is um, actually the second attempt that I made in, in, in trying to make a barrel key for this lock. The first one I, I messed up on, and because I cut the uh, uh, bit height too shallow, and um, also I cut the uh, bit thickness too thick. What ends up happening when you go too thick, the uh, key makes contact with the bolt before it has the ability to um, lift the lever tumblers high enough. So uh, bit thickness is very important with these locks. So don't cut it too thick if you're going to make your own key. So let me um, give a demonstration of the barrel key that I produced for this lock. This is made out of 1018 cold rolled steel bar stock. No welding. And I attack this by drilling a hole in here. And once I did that, I defined the bit section height or width, I should say, and um, did a cut here and waste material here, put a drill bit and began hand turning and defined all this barrel section between the bow and the bit area with my grinder and cleaned that up. This was all done by hand with a drum wall. And uh, the cutting on the outside here, that was all done with my grinder, my hand grinder and uh, all with that precision tool that you've seen in my prior videos. Without further ado, let me give a demonstration of this, uh, this lock. It has a very, very strong um, keyhole cover, dust hole cover, and put that in there. And you can see it goes in rather tightly. So let me show you twisting this lock open, open, and watch carefully. Um, if you can see, there are three lever tumblers I, I know you can't see it in this video, I apologize, but you could actually read the movement of the lever tumblers when making a key, and that's very helpful. 
So watch what happens when you close this. See that? Completely trips back and you can simply remove the key. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice um, key. I'm very happy with it. The original one would have been made out of uh, like a bronze or a brass. And uh, those are real common. But yeah, this is, this is a nice work of art and I'm very happy with it. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.